Unit 80. Revision Unit. Speaking and listening. Speaking and listening. English tenses. Revision. Listen. When the summer has come to an end, when there's no one left on the beach and the sky's no longer blue. Listen and answer. At the end of this year, how long will you have been studying English? Will you have finished this course by then? Listen and repeat. The explorer had been touring the galaxy. It had completed an important mission. It was traveling home through Sector 3. The ship was in good condition. The captain said they'd be home before long. But then something went wrong. Listen. We've been trying to repair the damage, but now we have given up hope. The ship is floating out of control, and we know that we're alone. We will never see. this sector far behind us. We'll be moving into deeper space where no one will ever find us. Modal Auxiliary Verbs. Revision. Listen to these song titles and repeat them. It might as well rain until September. The girl can't help it. She'd rather be with me. Listen. You're listening to The Mike Powell Show. Bernard is on the line and he's going to play Name the Song. Hello, Bernard. Hello, Mike. Ready? Ready. Number one. Then you might as well take the sun away. If you go away. Correct, but don't go away, Bernard, because here's number two. I'd rather be a hammer than a nail. If I could, or El Condor Passa. Which one? Well, both. The song has two titles. Quite right, Bernard. Just a little joke. Here's number three. You may be a businessman. Um, but you're gonna have to serve somebody. Gonna serve somebody. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Bernard. The title is Got to Serve Somebody. Better luck next time. <laughs> the verb get. Revision. 
Listen. You wake up in the morning on an autumn day. The weather's getting colder and the sky is gray. It doesn't matter if it's raining or snowing. Get up, get dressed, get ready, get going. When you have problems on your mind, they can get you down from time to time. But you won't get any satisfaction until you take some positive action. Listen and answer. Do you often get depressed? Do you get nervous before important meetings? Do you think your English is getting better? Do you think everyone should get married? Subjunctive forms. Revision. Listen. You're listening to The Mike Powell Show, and now Amanda is on the line. She's going to play our new game, Complete the Phrase, and she could win one of our marvellous prizes. Hi, Amanda. Hello, Mike. Ready? Ready. OK, number one. Can you complete this phrase? God save... God save the Queen? Oh, I'm sorry, Amanda. The answer I have is God save the King. Yes, but... Try number two. And if I were you, Amanda, I'd listen very carefully. Long live... Long live the King? No. Long live the Queen? No, sorry, Amanda. The answer I have is long live rock and roll. <laughs> Mike, has anyone ever won a prize on your show? Sorry? Written English. Dictation. First, listen to these proverbs. Don't write anything. Truth is time's daughter. There is a time and a place for everything. One hour today is worth two hours tomorrow. You don't get something for nothing. The more you get, the more you want. If you play with fire, you get burnt. Don't make a mountain out of a molehill. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. When in doubt, do nothing. Now listen again and write the proverbs. Truth is time's daughter. There is a time and a place for everything. One hour today is worth two hours tomorrow. You don't get something for nothing. The more you get, the more you want. If you play with fire, you get burnt. Don't make a mountain out of a molehill. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. When in doubt, do nothing. Synopsis. Dialogue. Uncle William. Elizabeth. <laughs> this is a pleasant surprise. How are you? I'm fine. We were talking about you the other night. Really? Who's we? We is me, Lily and Jeff. I hear you've given up smoking. That's right. I've been telling myself for ages that I ought to stop, and finally I did. I just said to myself, it's a ridiculous habit. It's time you stopped. And believe it or not, I stopped. <laughs> just like that. I haven't smoked a cigarette since. Have you been feeling better since you stopped? Much better, yes. Oh, I wouldn't smoke a cigarette now if you paid me. If I were you, I'd stop too. I'm afraid that's impossible, Uncle William. 
I can't stop. Oh, dear. I can't stop because I never started. Oh? Huh? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> I don't smoke now, and I don't intend to start. That's very good. Do you know, if I hadn't stopped smoking, I'd have smoked more than 300,000 cigarettes by the time I was 65? I worked it out. Yes. Lily told me. Hmm. Did she tell you about my speech? At the conference? Yes, she did. Actually, it went very well. It was about the travel business of tomorrow. Very interesting. It was a serious speech, but I made them laugh a few times. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Mm. I finished with a quotation about Woodrow Wilson. Like Odysseus, he looked wiser when seated. And then I sat down. <laughs> that got a very good reaction from the audience. Good. <laughs> Although, I think it was mainly because I missed my chair and landed on the floor. <laughs> oh. <laughs>